I'm now ready to begin Coulomb's Law Part B. In Part B, we will be adjusting our two spheres to the same distance of separation, but each time we will now be variating our kilovoltage. This time, I'm going to start off at 6 kilovolts, as in Part A, but then I will show you how to adjust it to 5 kilovolts, and then later on to 4, 3, 2, 3, and 2 kilovolts for each distance. So we begin by touching each sphere individually, as in Part A. turn off our kilovolt power supply, and slide our charge sphere towards the fixed distance that we will be using throughout part B, which will be 10 centimeters. As you can see as earlier, our two spheres repel each other, and we will use the torsion knob to adjust our spheres so our two notches are aligned again. And this will be our first measurement in Coulomb's Law Part B. To get our second, we are going to move them back, maximum separation, return our torsion knob back to zero degrees, ground, remove the charges from each sphere, And this time, instead of putting 6 kilovolts on the charge sphere, we're going to adjust it down to 5 kilovolts. We're going to place 5 kilovolts on each sphere. Turn off our kilovolt power supply. And slide our charge sphere back to 10 centimeters. You should notice slightly less torsion angle required to balance out this force. This is because we used less charge on each sphere. To finish part B, you would go on and continue this for 5 volts, 4 volts, 3 kilovolts, 2 kilovolts, and each time resetting the spheres maximum distance apart and removing the charge from each sphere. 